Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gene, aka LS Turbo Intag. How's everybody doing today? Well, we're going to continue on pushing forward on the Porsche Cayman build. A lot of shows coming up this season. And in today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to work on the wing risers. So as you guys remember, I had Matt from Porsche Mod Squad make these custom risers for me. They sit 12 inches tall because my risers install right on top of the hatch itself as you can see there and they're actually if you look at these three holes i'll post a picture of how matt is installed and all gt4s whether it's 981 or the 718 platform they all go through the hatch i got the measurements from matt about how far down these go what i'll end up doing is having a machine shop cut these down to the right height then i'll re-drill the holes as you can see, I have two holes here. I'll re-drill them here, and I got one more up here. What I'll do after the cut mark is done, you'll have some of that aluminum exposed. So what I'll do is I'll use maybe some Rust-Oleum Black to paint those, but it won't be too noticeable just because it is hidden by the hardware here. That'll be the project for today, guys. Also, guys, what came in was my new Porsche crest that goes on the new carbon fiber hood that's coming in. That's it right there, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. It is gold with black and white, but the gold isn't really a, it's almost like a champagne, if you ask me. And I really think it's gonna go well with the new carbon fiber hood that's coming in. This is what comes OEM on the Porsche, which is super nice, it's gold with the red and black, and the gold actually goes with the roll cage and the calipers here. That might show it a little bit. You see how it kind of blends in pretty well with the carbon fiber. So I think that's really going to look good. And also remember fam, the carbon fiber hood, the three slats in the middle, is going to have that blue carbon fiber. So I think with the red from the original Porsche crest and with the blue on the, on the slats, I don't know, it might look, that's the blue right there. It might look a little off. So that's why I decided to go with the new Porsche crest. But Plus I always wanted to get something different just to change things up on the front end there. So that came in guys. Also, so remember the boot, we're gonna convert my PDK. So that's what the PDK shifter looks like. So we'll leave the shifter alone, but we will change all this out. And that plastic piece I was talking about that I had to wait to come in, that's what holds this piece in place. This is the one I ordered from Suncoast. It's like a 20, $25 part. But basically, I'm not sure what side, if it's this side or this side. Definitely not that side, that's too wide. So it sits right there and then it holds the uh, hazard and door lock feature. So yeah, that's a perfect fit. And also I'll see if I can get to putting in these new struts. Matt from Porsche Mod Squad actually sent me a video of him with some custom struts that he did. These were 200 pound struts, which was way too much. I'll post it in this video uh, to show you how much of a struggle it is just to open and it's not so much of a struggle to open the hatch because it seems like it's gonna fly off and break, but closing it, it's almost like doing lap pull downs or tricep press downs just to get it to shut. These are 110 pounds versus the 200 pounds. So these should work perfect. We'll see if we can get to that today as well. Also guys, what I'll be doing sometime this week is getting the H&R springs installed. 
we got a lot of shows coming up and I'm like super busy this month so I need to knock this out so I'll be posting a video on that so stay tuned for that also guys what I did mention in the last video was I ordered some stuff from FCP Euro one of the things I ordered uh, but I won't do it now. I will post a video on that, but I'm gonna change the oil on this. I wanna get it done before I go to RDR because it'll be due for an oil change by then. I did order from FCP Euro. The one I go with is the one by Liquid Molly. It's the SAE 0W40 and it comes with a filter and it is a synthetic oil. I've used this last time and I love it. Also guys, my BMW's thermoset decided to take a crap. Every time I'm driving, the fan just kicks on after about 15 minutes. Not like I was driving hard or anything, but I noticed it kept kicking on, shuts off, kicks on, shuts off. It's really abnormal. Then I found out it sounds like the thermostat is the one that's the culprit. I ordered everything through FCP Euro. Uh, it's basically the complete kit. It comes with the thermostat housing, the water pump, and the antifreeze. So here's the thermostat housing. So I've been watching some videos on how everybody's been doing it. It looks pretty simple and straightforward to do, but I have a buddy, Chris, who's gonna help me do this. Good idea to have a second pair of hands and he's pretty much taken everything off his car and assembled it. So it's always good to have somebody that's already done it before. So uh, this is the thermostat housing. It is a sealed unit. I'm so used to my old Acuras and Hondas Changing out the thermostat is really easy. It's just a spring that opens and closes and allows the coolant to flow and it's super easy to do. And it was maybe like 20 bucks for the thermostat. Now, just for the kit alone was about 550 bucks. I guess that's what happens when you drive a BMW, just parts cost a lot more, especially with the Porsche. You can actually see the thermostat inside and the spring. Here's the water pump. It's always suggested to replace the water pump at the same time you do your thermostat. All right, guys, there it is. Looks super familiar just because when I changed the diverter valve, I remember disconnecting, I think these bottom two bolts to get to the diverter valve, which made it a lot easier to take this and drop this. I think that's what that was. Man, it looks like a little turbo. Stay tuned for that video, you guys. Also, I'll have another separate video when I change the oil on the BMW. Ever since I've owned the BMW, I've always used, been using this. And what's great about this, it actually glows. So if you ever get an oil leak, which I did have that oil filter gasket housing leak, you can use a UV light, which I have one from Adams. This is the one I use when I applied the ceramic coating. Basically, you just kind of shine this anywhere in your engine bay. And if there's a leak by the oil filter gasket housing, it was glowing, uh, I think, was it purple? Or was it bluish? I think it was purplish. I was like, what the heck? So that's the reason why I go with this for the BMW. I really wanted to find one for the uh, Porsche, but they didn't have one. Stay tuned for that video, you guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna head off on over to the uh, shop and see if I can get my guy to cut these down. See you in a bit. Just got back from the machine shop, had Ridge Machine Shop do the work for me. Look how clean those cuts are. Holy, there's no way I could have done this myself. The original place I went to couldn't do it. 
He referred me to a place. They tried to, but they were worried about messing it up. So I decided to go to Ridge Machine Shop, talk to the guy on the phone, explained him what I wanted to get done. And he said, yeah, no problem, bring it in. We'll take a look at it. Look how it turned out. Uh, I was worried that the paint was gonna get messed up. Like the original place I went to said that I'd have to repaint these because of all the heat. But as you can see, the shop I went to was able to cut these without me having to repaint or cause any issues for me to have to fix these. I mean, the cuts were super clean. I mean, it looks really good. I just gotta sand it down a little bit. I don't see any burrs, but if there is, I wanna make sure I clean those up and then I'll take a shot of Rust-Oleum paint to uh, kind of paint the bottom there. That way it does. I don't think it would rust, but you know, I don't wanna leave it exposed metal. But that turned out really good, you guys. Very happy with the way it looks now. So what I'll start doing next is removing the wing. That way I can get some measurements so I can re-drill the two holes on the bottom and the single hole on top. So, all right guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, I took a break, went to the gym, but so far I've got the wing removed. Wing is sitting down over here, so we'll keep that out of the way. These are aftermarket GT4 wings guys, so keep in mind, for the one I bought from Composite Concepts, this is how they mount it to the hatch. And a lot of the other carbon fiber GT4 wings, you rivet, like I think eight, eight rivets are mounted into the, uh, the hatch and that's what holds the bracket in place. I might, maybe next year, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. Maybe I'll do it the right way, if Matt can do this. Order another set of risers and order the uh, relocation kit for the 981 and 718 GT4s. And basically, you cut into the hatch itself and the riser actually slides down inside. And then there's three bolts that mount in this way. That's the proper way of doing it because mine is like this. It actually sits more inside. If I want to do it the other way, this will have to sit on the outside and then I'll have some holes here. So what I'll end up having to do is taking it to a body shop to have them fill in these holes, reshoot it blue again. So I don't know. I may or I may not do that. It depends on how badly I want it to look. I don't mind the way it looks now with the bracket. So uh, it's something on the bottom of the to-do list if I were get everything else done, there's nothing else to do, and I decide, well, let's go ahead and uh, do it the other way. So what I'll end up doing is drilling the holes out so this will stay in place. I need to drill another hole up on top of here. That way, the wing will mount to it, put everything back together, and we should be good to go. Look at the difference in height. Just that few more inches is gonna give me enough clearance to be able to see through the back window. And now it's one solid piece versus one bracket here and then that. Um, it is adjustable, which is kind of nice. So I can actually tilt the wing however I want it. Um, I should still be able to do it with this too, just because the top bracket on the wing actually adjusts. But I do just need to drill that hole and I'll be good to go. So we'll take care of that tomorrow, guys. All right, guys, it's the following day. 
I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on the Cayman. And I had to swing by Home Depot and pick up a new set of drill bits. I need one that's gonna be able to drill through metal. And these Black & Deckers I've had for years, they're just all broken and worn out. So I went to go pick some more up. That way I can drill the holes, uh, one on the top, two on the bottom. And it's not gonna be very hard to do, but I did wanna use some new bits just to make it super clean. Uh, you guys can see I got one hole here, one hole here. It's the reason why I need to drill two holes on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get started.
we're all done. Check it out. Oh my God, it sits freaking perfect. I'll probably readjust the wing just because right now the car is on jack stands. I usually gauge on how I want the wing to sit. So right now, I don't think we're actually leveled or sitting straight. So I adjusted it here. I'll probably readjust it after I lower the car and drop it and then I can get a side profile from here and then I'll make my adjustments. But from where it's sitting now, I think it's fine. But what do you guys think? Looks stupid amazing. And I can see through my back window again. So I'm really excited about that. But look at that profile. So it doesn't sit low and it doesn't sit high. It sits perfect. Super happy with this. Thanks Matt from Porsche Mod Squad. He's killing the game right now. I'm looking forward to slapping that exhaust on and see what it sounds like. Look at these risers that he custom made you guys. These are perfect. Look at that back shot. Sheesh. Looks so good. Look at that height you guys. Perfect. I can't stop looking. This is the height I've been wanting ever since I put the GT4 wing. I mean, just the textured finish looks amazing. What do you guys think? All right guys, that'll do it for this video. Please stay tuned for my next video. I'm gonna start working on installing those H&R springs. I wanna get it done before I get my carbon fiber fenders back from SCM Carbon. Thanks for tuning in guys. I really hope you guys enjoy the content. I'm actually having a good time just kinda posting everything that I've been doing. I just really enjoy working on cars. I've been doing it my whole life. If you guys like the content, please hit that subscribe button. Hit those post notifications. That way when I drop a video, you guys will be notified. And if you guys have any questions or comment, please post them below. Let me know what you guys think. Damn. Freaking Matt killing it. All right guys, until the next video, have a nice and wonderful blessed day. See ya, peace.